The following program is sponsored by John Chatchis Insurance, your local farmer's insurance agent located at 800 Avenue, G in Ely, and brought to you as a public service by KGTV Channel 10 in Ely, Nevada. Ely City Council Meeting, December 19, 2019. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. set aside for this uh, particular item. You've got to stop spending money that you may not have there. Mr. Mayor, on your agenda item 7B3, you consider possible appointments to the Regional Planning uh, Board to the people who work for a taxpayer-funded entity, which is unfair to those who work in the private sector. Two of those, Leah Brown and John Tarpchalis, stifled the expansion of the Cal Ranch store. Without business expansion within the city, the only option is to send them out of the city limits which is not an option. We need everybody here. You guys are fighting for tax money every time you turn around. And the only thing you're doing is you're laying more taxes on the individual, the taxpayer. We need more for landfill. We need, need more for water, more for sewer. If you don't expand your tax base, you will continue to make us suffer. You need people on there that are going to be a little more lenient than these two. In the overall picture, one business must not dominate decisions regarding planning and growth. And that's those government-funded facilities, entities. Mr. Uh, Mayor, on your agenda, item 75, there was nothing in the packet to want to understand the direction related to said process as it relates to planning for the city of Eden. Nothing at all. Mr. Mayor, on your agenda, item 76 and 77, there's not enough information to measure the financial impacts of those two items. Again, you're shooting in the dark. I can't do that. Mr. Mayor, uh, has the building inspector submitted any concerns in writing regarding the middle school, old high school, and Altman? In, uh, in reference in an old article in the newspaper, uh, they're employing the place is falling apart, which I find it hard to believe. But I'd like to know if he has mentioned any of that. Anytime you have a gym floor and you're uh, limiting the access or the use of it, because they may fall through is uh, quite a concern of mine. I don't know if someone's blowing smoke, but we need to look at that. Mr. Chairman, uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Mayor, your building inspector has yet to address the deficiencies on the re-roof job on my building at 570 Altman. The roof still has leaks, and the brick that was removed at the back of the building has yet to be replaced. Your building inspector signed off the project and then told me I hired for a contract. I want to remind you. 
I paid for protection through the permit, which you require. Either the contractor corrects the problem or the city is responsible. Your inspector is at fault. I paid the fees. I want it correct. Mr. Uh, Mayor, former councilman Sam Hansen has yet to put in required curb and gutter at the home he sold. Former councilman uh, Tony Police's fence is still not in compliance with fence heights. Keith Carson has yet to remove the modular home from his trailer park. I wasn't allowed to put a modular home on my lots. Thank you, George. You're discriminating, Mayor. Thank you, George. Got to tell him to move. Any other public comment? Seeing none, we'll move on to item three, Mayor discussion for possible action, approval of agenda, including removal of agenda items. I'm requesting that agenda item B1 be removed the um, audit, which is not done yet, but we're crossing our fingers for the first meeting in January. And item B6, um, there were some council members who wanted to refine this a little bit before it came as a draft before the council. So I will entertain a motion with those two exclusions. So moved. Second. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Carried and so ordered. We'll move on to item four, city department reports. Fire chief. Not the report. We have any questions. Thank you, Police chief, I believe is present. Municipal court judge, no city clerk. I just want to bring everyone's attention to the label that will appear in next Friday's paper. Our meeting dates is our schedule for next year. Thank you. Uh, City Treasurer. City Public Works. Yes. <laughs> I'm anxious to get out of one. They do have programming for this. Uh, just a quick little update on the street lights. We've done 20 of them so far. Mount Wheeler next week to have a good day LED. If you see any street lights out, please let us know. We'll switch to those ones if you can. The other thing, uh, the test on RW7 was canceled. They got all set up and the rig broke down, so it'll be rescheduled for mid January. Right now, the, uh, the, mic, the, the well was shut off, but it was never compromised in any way. So, yeah, and then the last thing I guess everybody has seen that uh, Jane has out of the recycling business for the time being also. We will still be accepting plastics and with our goal still to, to take our plastics in with us when we go pick up the new bucket. <coughs> Any questions for me? Thanks, Mark. Right. Thanks, Mark. I'm going to go to Christmas. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Enjoy. <laughs> See you. Uh, city water operator, you have his report. City engineer is present tonight. City building official. We'll move on to item five reports. City council. We'll start with you, Michelle. I attended my regular meetings and also took a tour with Carl of all the water tanks, pump houses, and so forth. The whole system was quite interesting. They gave me a good hands operation, not actually me doing it. They have a skate system work. So I think it's a and you got time. It takes about two hours to go over information that the pretty cool how it all works. Pretty good deal. Great. Thanks, Jim. Kurt. I would just like to wish everybody a safe and Merry Christmas. Thank you, Kurt. Thanks, Kurt. Thanks, Kurt. Bernie? Uh, yes. <clears throat> I attended the water board meeting on joint operations between the county and the city and the mine and whatnot. Um, at this time, I think the city of Maine should. Look into the prospect of what the mine is doing with water, dewatering, and whatnot. I would like to recommend sometime at the beginning of the year that city council members of Canton meet with the municipal water board and discuss the situation of what may happen if and when the mine closes down. I think we should be prepared for facing that situation. It was a very good meeting. And I'm glad I attended and I went to the uh, water board meeting of the members of the county throughout preventing uh, the Southern Nevada Water Authority. And I think it's another situation we have to look at. It's very serious in our area. We have to do some, start doing something more about it other than legal affairs. 
Uh, other than that, I am Ruth Kirk. I'd like to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a very happy New Year. I hope it's a good one coming here. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. Uh, I'm happy to report. We'll move on to item six. Items for discussion, possible action of the Eva City Council as recommended by the City Planning Commission. Item one, Chairman Peeler, discussion for possible action, approval of home occupation permit to Kimberly Morrill to conduct an independent Luluro fashion retailer business. DBA Small Town Lovelies located at 11 Connors Court, Ely, Nevada. How did the Planning Commission vote? The Planning Commission approved it. Okay. Uh, any questions of the clerk or questions about the permit? What is it? Clothing. I wear it. All right. Can you do something Please for the, the make it look better? <laughs> they are serving a mid sign, but I don't know. Okay. Uh, yeah. What's that? I will make a motion to approve. I'll second. second. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried and so ordered. Thank you. Item 7, items for discussion possible action only of the Ely City Council, the consent agenda. Uh, we have minutes and bills. And I'll entertain a motion for approval of all. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any questions on the bills or minutes? Seeing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Carried and so ordered. We move on to item B, new business. Item two, Mayor Robertson discussions for possible action, approval of a joint proposal to provide public defender legal services for the city of Ely from Christy Pickering Esquire and Jane Edward Hardy Esquire. Please, Jane. Okay. Hi, I'm Jane Edward Hardy, and uh, I'm here on behalf of myself and Christy Pickering. We both have our own law firms. And um, so we are proposing that we would do the cases that the municipal court would need a lawyer for, which aren't all the cases, but they're usually the cases that are involving uh, jail time. And uh, so we're looking at um, pretty much um, DUIs, or pretty much the, the caseload. I want you to know since November of this year, We've um, jointly we've gotten ten cases, so um, there's I don't know if there was a backlog, but um, they sent him over to our office because he didn't have anybody else to defend um, when the court deemed that appointment was necessary. Um, we are um, charging a hundred dollars an hour, and uh, we're not asking to. Because I don't think that, I think this is a little unusual, I'd have to say, uh, but um, because I talked to attorney Briggs who did the contract prior, and um, I didn't get the impression that it was a lot, a lot of work. And I think 10 cases in two months is a lot um, for a municipal court. Um, I don't think it is for justice, but I do think it is for municipal, so I'm not really sure what what was going on and what happened um, when we got these cases. So we are doing them, and we are doing them at 100 an hour, and so then we're, um, I don't know if you wanted to enter into a proposal with us, and how it works is that um, the case comes to our office, and it's just, we just rotate, her, me, her, me, and that, that's how we do it. Um, the advantage of using um, the Ely Legal Complex is that if there is a conflict, um, the other one could take it. You wouldn't have to go outside and try to find somebody else. Um, I've all, also talked to Richard Sears, who also has a law office in that area, and he'd be willing to also pick up conflict if something happened where Kirsty and I both had conflicts. So um, we're not asking to be paid like, we're, we're not trying to guess how much this would be a month. Um, we're asking for a set monthly sum. Yeah. What we're asking is that we bill at $100 an hour, and at the end of the case, we give you, we give the, really the judge gets the bill and, uh, and approves the bill. Um, I think there was a, some, a question by 
Mr. Chachis about why this